UK counter-terror police are investigating the stabbing of an Iranian opposition journalist in London. Puria Zarati works for, the, for Iran International, a broadcaster which has been sharply critical of the regime in Tehran. He's now in stable condition in hospital after reportedly being attacked by a number of men outside his home in the London suburb of Wimbledon. Persian language journalists in Britain have faced a number of threats in recent years. Adam Bailey is a spokesperson for Zarati's broadcaster, Iran International. Welcome to DW, sir. I'll get straight to it. Adam, we appreciate your joining us. You know that Puria Zarati personally, um, what can you tell us about the circumstances of the attack? He was attacked yesterday afternoon, about three in the afternoon London time by two men, um, slashed with a knife in his lower body, and then the man ran off uh, to a waiting getaway car and off he went. Mm. And since then, he's been in hospital. Um, he's making a good recovery, um, very much a good recovery. I spoke to him this morning um, and he sounds cheerful. Um, but of course, it's very shocking, deeply, deeply shocking to him. Um, but he he's in good spirits. He is mm. in good spirits. Well, and tell, police investigation. And tell our viewers, Sorry? why would... Tell our viewers, why would Zarati specifically be targeted if, in fact, uh, he was? Uh, surely he's not the only critic of the regime. He's not specifically a critic of the regime. It's just that most journalists working outside Iran who report on Iran um, are considered critics of the regime by the mere fact they're reporting news, mm. um, uncensored free news. You know, it doesn't make you a, an actual critic. Uh, you know, he, he doesn't do a job simply to criticise uh, the uh, authorities in, the, and the government of Iran. It's just necessarily you will find yourself targeted um, or declared a terrorist or something like that simply for the fact of doing your job as a journalist. It happens to um, everyone at Iran International, BBC Persian, um, Lots and lots of Iranian journalists working overseas are described as, as the same and are similarly threatened. Fair enough. What are the British authorities doing now and how have they reacted? They have reacted as they have reacted over the past couple of years uh, in the face of all these threats with uh, counterterrorism specialists uh, are responsible for investigating this particular thing as they have been with others. And they're responsible for advising uh, the security of people who are deemed to be under what's known as credible threat to their lives, their safety. And they take appropriate measures, which, of course, are not advertised to do as much as they can to secure people's safety. But you can't necessarily secure it all the time. Mm. You touched on the perception in Tehran that the regime and maybe others in Iran have of Iranian journalists reporting uh, outside of Iran. But how difficult, besides that issue, is it for Iranian journalists to report on Iran from abroad? There's a lot of ways you could do it. I mean, it's it's a very it's a very leaking uh, country, if you put it that way. It's too well connected. You know, there are 7 million Iranians living in the diaspora with friends, family, relatives, all sorts inside. And communications are not blocked. Mm. You know, you can't, I mean, they try blocking the internet and things like this, but there are many, many ways around that. So you can report from inside Iran, as Iran International does. It's not just a question of reporting, say, protests, as we've seen over last year in particular, but, you know, it's the economy, social matters, education policy, uh, what happened during COVID. There's all kinds. Uh, it's not just a question, you know, Iran International wasn't set up simply to relay into Iran pictures of protest. Um, or th That's not what uh, we do. It's about news about Iran back into Iran. That's uh, Adam Bailey from Iran International. Uh, many thanks for speaking to DW, Adam. Thank you.